Howdy folks, Brainstorms back with a new uh, mystery snack to attack. Let's just see what we can find in the freezer. You know, we need to, <laughs> this freezer is outside. It is getting a little, um, you know, as freezers do in the south. Crust it over with ice, full of undetermined amount of stuff that your grandma or, in my case, my mama gave me, sometimes my brother. So let's look in this dirty at top freezer and uh, see what we can find. You know, sometimes it's some of the, some of the stuff that you put in there yourself. So let's see what we can find, all right? This is an old uh, 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 ice cream sandwich birthday cake. Ooh, ooh, look. There's some microwave roasters. Those are delicious. Oh, I forgot about these crab cakes. Chef's Ramsay's. I wonder if I could use an air fryer. Yep, yep. Here we go. That's lunch, guys. <laughs> Chef Ramsay's crab cakes. Lump crab meat and golden breadcrumbs. Oh my goodness, let's give it a go. Peekaboo, I see you. I don't need these. Whew. It's terrible getting old. I'm out on my front porch, it's a little messy. Got most of the walls gone. And this pan's a little hot, I forgot, but I did let them cool down. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight lump meat crab cakes. Chef Gordon Ramsay. You zing them in the 400 degree oven. I know you can preheat an air fryer, but I learned how. Got my fan on because it's hot out here in the south. It's like 84 degrees here under the shade. And my washing machine is growling at me. So we're doing laundry at the same time. So we got these lump meat crab cakes. I have to say they smell good. Don't, don't quite smell like the ones you can get at uh, Captain D's in the actual crab shells. But I am excited to give these a go. What you know, I can't remember how long ago I bought these. So it looks like the breadcrumb stuffed crab meat deal that you can get at stuffed in the like I said the shells at uh, Captain D so let's try Ooh, a little hot mmm need to cook brown it's like 10 minutes 400 degrees in the air fryer let them cool for about two minutes afterwards mmm that is tasty that's actually better than I thought it would be Chef Ramsey you know how to make butt meat crab meat Hush puppies, like crab hush puppies, I think I would call them. Let's get this up a notch. That's something I think even Chef Ramsay would approve by trying some Zoufram banana sauce. Now what this is, is banana ketchup. We tried this, and then there's a spicy version, and then there's this regular version. I like this regular version better. This is actually banana ketchup. So if you're allergic to tomatoes, like my wife is, you can try banana ketchup. Let's see if I can get some out to show you. It comes out in clumps, almost like jello. It don't want to come out. Hmm. Gotta get a, uh, one of those butter knives. There we go. I got some out that time. So, the consistency is much like, like, almost like jam. Like, don't taste nothing like tomato ketchup. But it's not bad though. So let's get some of that on there. Some banana ketchup on my Chef Gordon Ramsay crab cake. It's not as good as Mom Salita's jalapeno ketchup that I tried recently. That was good. We had a fun taste test though of this Zoufram spicy version and the regular version. This is what we got here, the regular. Looks like ketchup. It kind of tastes like ketchup. But if you're a ketchup connoisseur like I am, and you love your tomato blood, you don't come close to the real thing. I like it, but would I treat it for my regular ketchup? I don't think so. But I would definitely buy Dufran banana sauce. I would definitely buy Chef Gordon Ramsay crab cakes. Those are yummy goodness to the tummy goodness. What do you think? The Fluffy Beardy Man used to try some Chef Gordon Ramsay stuff and he didn't like those, but he wouldn't try these. He's not a big seafood either. I don't think he'd like these crab meats. Hush puppies. Huh. Mm, that's actually really good. I'll have to look for these in the store next time I'm in there again. You never know until you know, and I challenge you to try the new each and every day. Like some Chef Gordon Ramsay crab meat cakes and some Zoufran banana sauce. <laughs> Yeah, my goodness. You never know, man. You never know. God bless y'all. And if you want to check out the time that I tried 
both of those banana sauces, both of those banana ketchups. Pretty popular video for me, actually. Check out down here below, guys. We're going to hop up down here, click on that video, and let me know in the comments below if you ever tried banana sauce. And if it's something you would try, if you liked it, or if you didn't like it, let me know, guys. I'll try all sorts of ketchup. And you, you got an idea for me? Let me know also in the comments, guys. These crab cakes are delicious. I enjoy the banana sauce, the banana ketchup. Maybe you want to check out the time I checked that I tried these for the first time. With the spicy version of this, check out that video down here, guys. Enough yakking. Get to the snacking. Have a great day. God bless y'all. See you next time. Bye-bye.